Hey all of you, hope you guys are great and welcome back once again. In the last video, we had built a basic model for creating document into our API. Okay, so if you haven't watched that video, I'll link the i button in the description so you can watch and we can continue where we left in the last video. So here we are in the model file. I'm going to simply close this one and I'm going to write a small little fun script which allow us to deploy all the sample data to our database in just one click. Okay, you can do one thing. You can simply copy and just paste one by one in the post method. But what if you have hundreds of thousands of data? So it's not possible to simply do copy and post one by one. That will take a lot of time. So let's write a script which allow us to do this in just a matter of a second. Okay. So this is the data we have sample data and that's the data we're going to deploy to our database. So here, first thing we have to do is to remove all this data we have created while testing. Okay. Remove this one. And all together we have this nine document in form of this. Okay. Now let's build the script for this. So let's come here and that's script we're going to build in this data folder. Okay. So this is not the part of the API, but I want to show you that how you can build and write a custom script to deploy the data. And that's data we're going to write up here. Okay, let's close this one, close this one. And let's create a new file called import data and JS. Okay, here we're going to write the deploy script. So we need a couple of things to deploy our data. So first we'll come back to the servers and here we need a couple of things. So we need our database connection. So what I will do, I will simply grab and copy and paste all of these. Paste here. And we don't need this app. So simply remove that one. But we need other these data. Okay. So that's what we have here. We come here. We're going to simply take a FS model because we have to read the data. And then we have to deploy. Okay. So we have to have a FS model. And we need to get the sample data. So NFT. Sorry, we have to get the model okay and this model is coming from dot slash dot dot model and nft model so that's the model we have here and now we are going to write the script so let's come here we're going to say const nft we have to get the data so that we have in 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 this folder so read file synchronous we have to provide the directory name of the file okay nft sample and here we're going to say utf and we let's write the function for import so we'll say import it's gonna be an async function and we'll take this try and catch if anything goes wrong and we'll have to handle the error so we'll say await we have to take this nft model and we'll call this create method okay so this is the exact method we have created in the controller and that's the method we're going to create and in this we're going to pass the entire data so that's the data we have in this nfts okay that's the data we're going to pass here and this will create the NFT in our database. Okay. That will work. Okay. So that will work. And here we're going to console log out the data successfully loaded. Okay. So once the data gets loaded, we have to get this message. This is the script we have written for uploading data. But what if we want to delete the entire data into our database? So we have to write that script for that as well. So let's write that. So we'll take const simply we'll replicate that and We'll select delete data and we're going to change the method. So we'll select delete data and it's going to be the same thing. And again, we have to call this function, which is available on Mongoose for deleting data. Okay. So we'll call delete many. So what it does, it will delete all the data, which we have in the database. And we don't need to pass anything else. So this is the two function we have. If you call any one of these function, it will work. Okay. But we want to do it in a different way. Okay, instead of calling directly one by one this function, we can create a variable for that. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by that. Let's come here. Let me do this console.log and I'm going to take this ARVG. Okay, so this is the variable we have available here. What it does, it will show you the location of the file. Okay, here we have to do the changes in the file location. So instead of this, we have to convert into a template literal and we have to provide this directory. Okay, I forgot to add this one. So dash dash dr name and slash okay so this will work fine okay so right now we'll won't have an error now let's start the application so node mon node mon nft so this is the command you have to run node nft data because we want to execute this file so nft data slash data and slash import data dot js hit enter and here you can see that we got this log so 
with the help of this process R, you get this green comments. Okay, so these are the comment we are getting. These are the directory file directory we are getting, and we're going to add one more okay thing, one more thing. So it's working fine. So let's stop this one, and now we're going to add one more method on this, and we'll call it dash dash import. So if you hit enter, this time you will find that we have three green logs. Okay. So we have this program file node.js and we have this user dollar desktop and we have this import so this is one more method we have added and then and this one we're going to try to access to importing and deleting okay so we have the third argument this simply copy that and that's what we're going to utilize it so let's come up here and let's add a if statement so simply come back to the hit this one and here we have it working fine now let's come here let's write the if statement so we'll say if process dot arg and the element number two okay so we have zero one and two third element is the import that what we want to access okay this one if that is equal to let's say import if that is equal to import then we want to simply call the import data function else we want to call the delete okay process dot two and we want to call this delete function okay so that's looking fine okay and in this we're going to call this delete function so looking absolutely great hope things are making sense to you all of you guys and here we have to change this to delete not import okay so if the third argument is delete then it will delete the call the delete function but if the third argument is import it will call the import functions so that looks pretty good and here we have to say if so that's the function is ready so to show you let's come here in the terminal and let's stop the application from running and let's deploy that so i'm doing this in my second terminal not do in don't do in the first terminal because you have to keep running your server so let's call this one and right now if we call this we have these two documents so first thing we have to do is to delete all these documents okay i don't want to have this one i just want to delete it so here the method i'm going to call is delete okay so if i call this the entire data in our database will be deleted so call this delete and here you can see the log data successfully deleted it's working fine so we have deleted the data and if we come here if we call the response here you can see we have no data in our database zero result okay working fine now if you call this no data we have now let's import that okay let's clear that and we have to call this import and this will import the entire data to our database so just wait and it will take a little bit of time because we have to we have a lot of data so here you can see davy successfully connected and data successfully loaded so finally we have loaded all the data from this file this import detail to our database to our database so looking perfect okay if you come here if we'll call this get and here we have total nine result all the data we have in our database looking absolutely fine okay if you refresh this here you will have all the data we have deployed to our database let's bring the terminal down and you have noticed one thing once the data is got deployed still our server is running but we have to stop that okay so to how we to stop that what we can do first you can see this is the model we have and this is the file we are adding we are calling this and we are calling this deploy function and then we are deploying this one so far it's looking good and let's come here and now it's running okay you can see that after deploying the data it's still the browser server is running we have to stop this one okay and again i'm telling you we are doing in this in different terminal okay the main server is running in the first terminal this is we are doing on the second terminal so let's come here and here we're going to call the functions so the function we want to call is called process dot exit so this will stop simply do this for the same to the delete one and that's the only thing we have to do simply close this one and let's delete the data first so if i call the delete function the data is deleted and you can see after deleting the data we have stopped the our execution so no longer we are having that running okay if you recall the function we have no data now let's deploy that and change this to import hit enter and here you can see we have successfully deploy 
now we have all this data so things are looking pretty good and i hope you guys are excited so that's the only thing i want to cover hope you have found something so hope you have liked this video if you have still any confusion and doubt do leave in the comment section hit like and subscribe and make sure to save the playlist because there will there i'm going to push all the videos with that said let's move to the next video